you got to combine good content with boosting it at the same time. You can get Peter to pay for it. I think he'd be, <laughs> be happy to do it. Yeah, he'd be happy to do it too. Yeah. Right. Um, I paid for all mine, man. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't, you know, I'm just saying. So <laughs> yeah. But the, the key thing is if you just do good content and just get a hope and pray for the best that people are going to see it, it's not necessarily the case. So it needs to be boosted out there at the same time. Um, the reason for that is going to have much larger share. Like, for example, what are your competitors doing here, video wise? No one? Actually, who's your competitors right now? I saw McGrath, but that's... Yeah, so McGrath's on new social media. Okay. What I can tell. Yeah. The other ones is, uh, there's a brand called Jess Stevens, which is just niche for this area. Yeah. Um, they're the biggest team in the area. And, um, anyone seen anything about them? Okay. Um, so how many offices? Uh, in the area, at direct competition, uh, there's six. Six, okay. But only one of them does social media, and he's a German agent. Oh, oh, that's gold. Yeah. Okay, yep. He basically walks the street and tells about the market, but doesn't do anything. Okay, so the market wraps, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, kind of, like, but walking around town. Awesome, I love it. Yeah. Who here uh, likes to watch market wraps? Anyone? No? Okay, full sleep. Yeah? yeah? Really? Okay, that's interesting. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I absolutely hate market wraps. Um, you can do market wraps if you want to lose people real quick. Now, honestly, because the last thing anyone wants to watch is, hi, sorry, exactly what you guys were doing before, unfortunately, but at least you're not filming it, so, hi, the month of May, we have had 72% clearance rate for the auctions in the area, and we have had 17, who gives a fuck, man? No one cares, actually, no one cares. The market apps, no one cares. People either want to be educated in an entertaining manner or just entertained. That's it. When you guys go on Facebook, do you go on there to watch market wraps? <laughs> no. I still actually don't know why most agencies do them, to be completely honest. And look, I'm going to have people disagree with me on it. That's fine. So the people in your area yep. do market wraps? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. So, so if you look at it from this point of view, so in our area, there's one guy doing market wraps. No one else is. So it looks good. In his area, everyone's doing market wraps. And we've got 14 competing agencies as well. So we, you really need to stand out like, shit, I wish I was in your marketplace. Because <laughs> that's the only thing I'll be doing. How many, how many agents in your area going on? Oh, pretty much all of them, man. Yeah. Like every, everyone does. How many agents in your area going on? Very, 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 very. Have you seen them? I saw one Lego guy walking around. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure, are you sure it's not? I don't want to be racist, bro, because, you know, Egyptian and all, but you sure there wasn't a local drug dealer or <laughs> it's just door knocking? <laughs> I'm sure it was letterbox jobs. I'm sure it was letterbox jobs. So just, just, just for a second, like, Mina's marketplace is advanced compared to ours. Um, and, uh, and, and in the next few years, our marketplace will catch up to this. Um, if you don't take anything out of today, you need to just take one thing out. What he's doing right now, if we're not doing it in a few years, we're going to look exactly the same as the competition. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to correct you. If you're not doing it in a few weeks, I warn you, if you are not doing it in a few weeks, and I said the same thing to him. <laughs> it's by the time he kicks in in a few years, shit, a few months to be honest with you. Bye, too late. Shit, it's to, be, to be completely honest, it's probably even remotely a little bit too late now unless you start spending money to boost that stuff out there. It needs to be seen by your local people. Now, when you guys are actually going out there and doing it, is there anyone here boosting anything on Facebook? Uh, we boost, we're boosting properties. We don't boost our own videos. Okay. Why? I'm starting to. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a bit of an odd question. How much are you spending on it? Right now, it's yep. only for the week. So 50 bucks for the week, or whatever, however it is, like they do like a two, <coughs> two, three dollar day ones, whatever it is for the area, target area. Okay. Um, but I'm just keeping on kidding now. I need more budget, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Uh, he's not going to like me today, I can tell you. Um, yeah, the only reason I ask, it, it, needs, it needs more money thrown at it, to be completely honest with you. Because, and you probably know that the reach that you get out of the $50 is, mm, like how many, how many views do you see on the back end? Views? How many people view it? Yep. Um, for like 50 bucks for like 30 days or two dollars a day. Whatever. Okay, so I'll, I'll correct you right there. Number one, Facebook algorithm, weak max. Weak max. If you do it 30 days, drags out, your reach drops significantly. Yeah, so a weak maximum is how far you want to take it. Like actually ideally five days to a week. Yeah, 30 days becomes irrelevant. Especially if you're doing it on kind of a smaller scale. Um, like our average, Average video probably gets boosted between $200 to $250. That's how much we spend on it. But then the reach significantly grows with that. Now, if I looked at how many leads we actually get off Facebook on a monthly basis at the moment, probably about, it'd be about three to four pesos a week, at least. So do they contact you yep. by inbox? Yep, or? so by, it's a, in, on our page it's got the message button. People either do that or they actually call us short. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can target your area where you want. Geographically and by age group. So it's not a case of, okay, I'm just going to put that video out there or that content out there and I'm going to pray for the best. It's not going to do anything. You need to go on the back end. Don't worry about interests too much at the start because then it starts kind of getting a bit more analytical. Just go by age group because at the end of the day, Facebook has basically got between... 13 years old, up to 65 year old plus. Who's your market? I don't think the 13 year olds are. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right? So who's, who's the, the, the key sellers here? Probably uh, people in, in uh, 25 to 45 age. Right? So people 25, they're actually selling or buying? Buying. Okay, selling. Uh, 35 to 45. Okay, beautiful. You narrowed it down. 35 to 45, that's your target market. Done. So that's the people you actually want to boost it out to, right? Now, you also go, you can actually go geographically on the back end as well. Because when you guys boost it, how do you, how do, you do it? Do you, you you're just gonna just boost or you actually go geographic? Geographic and age group, and you yep. can also choose uh, the, the, uh, what their interests are. You can also choose if they're part of any group. You can also choose what their demographics are. Yeah. You know, uh, not ethnicity, but um, uh, what's called, uh, what are they doing for jobs, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, okay. Can I, I'll tell you what, cut all that out. Cut the interest part out completely. Your target is everybody that lives in the area because the more they see you, the more you get talked about in the story. You want your petrol station owners to know about you. You want your, the guys from the cafe to know about everyone, man. Everyone. So don't just go by, okay, this is the interest and this is the job, irrelevant. Age group, and by the way, when I say them, um, geographic, go narrow, they go wide. So. So, for example, have, have you guys, do you work from farm areas here or? Kind of. We, we have an area, a suburb. I thought Tricia goes, uh, nah. Rentals, which is they did. Whoa, that was, yeah, you do. ouch, you that know, was a like, look. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rentals, rentals all over the place. Yeah. So, sales, uh, uh, we concentrate mostly West Australia, Maradon, Maidstone. Okay. Uh, so, who's got what? Uh, we don't. Okay. Okay, so, huh? Cool. So, but when, when you, like when you boost something, make sure it's in those three spots, not the whole area. Yeah. This is markets you're not interested in anyway. Like for example, our core market would tend to be around say Cranbourne East, Clyde, Clyde North. So it's all stuff that's quite close to each other within about five k's. So that's where our target market is. So we, that's the one we hit the most, the hardest. Geographically, five k's. Age groups, ours is a little bit different, usually between about 27 to 50, so we go a little bit wider with that. Uh, but we don't put interests. Interests, jobs, all that. If you're looking for sellers, if you're looking for buyers, it might be a little different. But primarily now, you guys need to be looking for sellers. I think your market's pretty hot by the sound of it with 15 and 17 inspections on a, on a weekend. So um, you're not going to have a problem there.